Hi, today I want to show you my uh, home built plasma pantograph. I built this machine to transfer um, images or outlines of images from paper to sheet metal on the other side with my uh, plasma cutter. In the past I did plasma cutting mostly by hand and as you can see here with this wonderful Christmas tree um, if you make a mistake you have to start over and this gives you this these um, uh, edges, rough edges and the results are not very satisfying. So I looked up the internet for a better solution and uh, of course there's a lot of CNC stuff out there which is <laughs> way over the top and I came up with this uh, pantograph idea. The pantograph is a very simple machine used for ages uh, by people for transferring uh, uh, drawings from one piece of paper to another but you also can use it uh, for your plasma cutter. Um, it's mostly built out of aluminium square tube, 15 by 15 millimeters. Um, for your convenience, I made a little parts list or parts use list. Um, I bought two pieces of aluminium square tube, each one meter long. I cut the first in half and the other uh, into four pieces. Uh, I also used some 60 mm machine screws, uh, butterfly nuts, uh, 3 quarter inch pipe clamp, a capping nut um, and some pieces of flat bar from my junk box, as you can see here. Uh, this is used uh, to keep it in place. Mm, I had to use plastic washes between uh, the aluminium so um, metal doesn't rub on metal and it can move freely. Um, this construction detail is important because if you're not able to uh, hold it in place um, here, then uh, the weight of the plasma torch will drag the aluminium construction down and you don't get good results. <coughs> um, I welded this flat bar here and also I welded a nut down here to screw the threaded rod in. Uh, I assume if you're looking at this video uh, because you're um, looking for a plasma uh, cutting pantograph, <laughs> you also have a welder at home. Um, yes, then there is um, the uh, torch holder. This is this piece. Um, that's made of a three quarter inch uh, pipe that is here. I took my angel grinder and first I cut it uh, vertically and then horizontally um, so, um, the gap, the resulting gap, I uh, widened it a little bit so now you can put your plasma cutting torch inside very nice and use uh, this clamp, this pipe clamp to screw it into place so um, you always have the, the perfect distance be between your sheet metal and your plasma grinder. So, and uh, to show you how it works, I have a, a video because it's now raining outside and I have a very small workshop. I can only um, do plasma cutting outside, but not today. So I will attach a simple pen on it and show you how the pantograph um, duplicates a Christmas tree on the right side. So, as I said, I, I can't uh, do plasma cutting today because it's raining outside and I can't do it in my workshop. So I attached a, a pen on the left side um, to replicate these, uh, this Christmas tree on the right side. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, how to turn on or off the plasma cutter. Then, of course, where you've got the um, this button to turn it on, but you can't uh, push it conveniently if you're tracing on the right hand side. So um, you can order a foot pedal for your plasma welder on Amazon. Uh, I got mine for I think 16 euros and uh, you can use it to turn on or off your plasma cutter um, when you uh, leave the line of the drawing or start somewhere new. So. Now I show you how it works with a pen. So I begin tracing it down here.
So, voila, a Christmas tree. Thank you for watching.